Hello students, I am Marco Severo and this is the lecture 3 of the Marketing Analytics course. This is the part 2 of the Marketing Analytics definition. In this lecture, I am going to dive into the mar Marketing Analytics definition, discuss some performance measures in marketing and how they can be potential correlated. This is a very important topic in marketing, specifically to the ones that develop marketing uh, empirical models. So we close the last lecture with this illustration from Katsikeyas and colleagues, and they develop uh, an important study in marketing where they collected almost 1,000 uh, empirical studies in marketing that attributed uh, performance as dependent variable, and they categorized uh, the most important uh, thing of this illustration is that they categorized performance into two big dimensions, which are operational performance and organizational performance. In these dimensions, they also identified a series of groups. And within these groups, marketing performance measures that are usually the dependent variables of marketing empirical models. So this is very important to marketeers and researchers because these usually are the response variables of marketing models and marketeers must know, must know how they behave. So discussing a bit more about Katsikeyas and colleagues' study, uh, of the 998 empirical studies published in the top 15 marketing journals revised by them, 38% relied on a single me measure of performance only. An additional 40% treat performance as a latent variable, but do not report correlations between the indicators. This is a significant problem for existing knowledge in marketing because performance is a complex, multidimensional construct. And this is also a significant problem because there are trade-offs between different aspects before of performance. We're going to see that in the next slide. So different performance measures are generally only relatively weakly correlated. Uh, and this is an interesting thing uh, about marketing performance. The mean correlation reported between different objective indicators is only 0.25. So usually correlation is between minus 1 and 1, and minus 1 is very strong negative correlation, and 1 is very strong positive correlation. And they found a mean correlation among different uh, objective indicator, indicators of 0.25, pointing to the problem that maybe if you are going to develop an empirical model in marketing, you better use multiple performance measures uh, as the dependent variables of your models. So the correlation between performance measures vary widely, and some measures are even negatively correlated. And they also give an example about that sales growth and margin growth are significantly negatively correlated, centered at minus 0.33. What is the implication of that? So if a researcher or a marketeer or a manager are choosing one of these two measures, uh, would likely obtain radically different answers on the growth value of the same marketing-related actions. So this is, very, this is a very important issue to keep in mind in marketing analytics. <coughs> so... Another important thing about performance is that is the outcome of a chain of produ productivity inside firms. And this is a model, is a theoretical model of Russ and colleagues in 2004 in Journal of Marketing. And they show a chain of effects model that relates the specific actions taken by the firm to the overall condition and standing of uh, the firm. So everything starts here in the firm strategies. Uh, they have a general promotion product and channel strategy. And marketing are more of tactical actions that put this uh, into operation inside the organization. This will have an impact on usually uh, measures that are related to customers, like attitude, satisfaction, and others. 
these are the main inputs of brand equity. This is have this will have a market impact, uh, a financial impact, and impact on firm value. And what we observe, taking to a perspective of marketing analytics, is that the entire organization, the all measures of uh, performance inside the organizations, they are related to each other. Okay. So this is a big challenge for marketing researchers and marketeers to understand this chain of productivity in terms of measures. Okay, uh, if we have to define the place of marketing analytics inside the organization, it will be inside the marketing information system. So marketing analytics deal with internal databases, more specific with secondary data in research, uh, with data from the environment like competitors, channels, targets, publics, and environmental forces. But also, they deal with marketing research, primary data, which is the data that I collect when I do not have the access inside the organization. Lots of data uh, for marketing is important because they need to be systematized in surveys because we need to ask customers what they feel, what are their perception about our business, for example, or our brands. So marketing intelligence is the dynamic between internal databases and marketing research. And marketing analytics professionals are going to assess information needs inside the organization and analyze this data using information, information. generally developing response models to identify how marketing measures influence performance. So thank you very much.